Dozens of faces, faces of women from many different backgrounds in life. 32 flavors and then some. That's what artist Chris Buskey calls his exhibit, coming to a gallery on West Colfax. Buskey's pop art paintings are there in part to raise money for women experiencing homelessness. Beauty can be seen in all forms. It is not as small of a box as we consider it. There we go. My name is Chris Buskey. I'm a political pop artist in Denver. And I am just actually getting ready to set up my show and I'm putting up a few pieces together out here today. My latest show is 32 Flavors and Then Some. It's mostly an exploration into stencil art, which is a layering technique that's done, done by street artists. I think in this time, so many people feel like they don't have a voice or they're not being seen or heard. And I just really wanted to celebrate some of those people that were not traditionally seen. I'm a queer person myself, so I feel, I feel connected to that cause. That's what's nice about being a pop artist, is that you are not trying to tell other people's stories. You are just merely looking from the outside in. So I'm not trying to tell their story for them. Um, but I do want to celebrate them and elevate them and empower them, you know, create empowering images that are, are not spread throughout enough. I love a lot of things about art. One of my favorite things is that it lets me work out my anger in positive ways, my frustrations with the world sometimes. It also makes me feel um, like I have a voice and can communicate things. And I also like that it can change people without standing in front of them and forcing them to change. It's a, it's a subtle way that you can change the world. There we go. Next gallery is on West Colfax in Lakewood. 32 flavors and then some opens Friday, April 26th.